Um, hi, this is Earl Slick, and I'm at the Orange Amplifier uh, Suppository Depository in Atlanta, Georgia. I'm playing um, Orange AD 30s, which is a, which is a, which is a 30 watt Class A amp. Live, I use four heads and four cabinets. Each cabinet's got its own head. They're crunchy. They're bit, they're not really dirty. They're kind of just crunchy, clean crunchy, which gives me the sound I want. So if I'm using pedals and stuff, the amp is, is got enough push when I'm playing rhythm and lead. And then if I use my pedals, I just back my volume off a little bit that you can actually hear the, 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 the character. Because I don't use overdrives, I use fuzz tones. And you can really hear it, and they, they work really well with the oranges. At the beginning, I did a lot of slide stuff from Brian Jones and all, all of the licks from Keith Richards. And then the Yardbirds, you know, listening to Jeff Beck and, and Eric Clapton. I tended to go more towards the bluesier band, so Rolling Stones, Yardbirds, you know, a lot of that English, the, 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 the Brit blues thing. You know, this all happened from 1964 to 1967, because Hendrix was, by 67, Hendrix was, was there. So this all happened really quick. Major accomplishment as a guitar player is basically that I'm still allowed to do what I do. Growing up in New York City, there, there were um, a lot of guys to play with and plenty of gigs. So I went out and, and played seven days a week. We always had gigs. Getting the gig as David Bowie's guitar player, I already had plenty of stage time under my belt, so I was ready. I did a lot of tours with David and I've done five albums. And he said, I just want you to, I like the way you play, so do what you do interpret the songs the way you want to interpret them as opposed to copy everything that Mick Ronson did, which would have been a bitch because Mick was a great guitar player. All that was required of me was just play like me. Yeah, at the moment I'm out with the New York Dolls and we're, we're opening up for a Motley Crue and we started at the beginning of June and we're gonna go to mid-August and um, then we're gonna do a couple of headline dates in Australia and then do some um, opening act dates for Alice Cooper, uh, probably do another record next year, and uh, it's, a, it's a ball. I'm having a really good time. Okay, there's my strap line, hand designed and made by me, at gfs.com, guitarfetish.com. We use the Orange Amplifier uh, promo to promote my other stuff, if they don't edit this out.